Hello everybody and welcome back to Reading with Grandma. Today we're going on an adventure with some dinosaurs that play soccer. What do you think about that? Let me know in the comments below what you think. This is called Dino Soccer. Dinos huddle up at noon. Soccer game is starting soon. Here comes herds of soccer fans and dino moms in minivans. Decked in colors, proud and bold, biters blue and grazers gold. Their uniforms are loose and bright. Their socks hold shin guards nice and tight. Time to warm up legs and tails. Bend those legs and stretch those scales. The ref jogs in to do his part. As co a coin is tossed, the grazers start. Ankylosaurus makes the pass. A sneaky sidekick through the grass. Lesso traps it with his feet. Although he's small, his moves are sweet. He zips, he zags, he scampers round. The two defenders stand their ground. He's so little, he could probably sneak right by all of them, couldn't he? A pass to Diplo. Off he goes. He sneaks the ball past goalie toes. He makes the first point of the day. The Grazers fans shout, hip hip hooray. A quick reset. No time to stall. Biters turn to move the ball. T-Rex travels yard by yard. Then Stegosaurus checks him hard. Side by side, Kate still Stego steals. Watch out, two wingers on his heels. With wicked wings and clever claws, the pterodactyls take the ball. One winger makes an outside shot. Three Gallimimuses on the spot. Then Galley takes it to the net. Score! The game is not over yet. The second half has just begun. Blocked by biters, Pecky runs. Her soccer cleats have lost their tread, but Packy likes to use her head. The ball goes up. Tricera spikes it. The ball deflates, and no one likes it. The grazers seem to be in charge. A potosaur is looming large. The ball sails through the goalie's hands. The fans go crazy in the stands. They love their teams. They're having fun. It's Grazers 2 and Biters 1. T-Rex attacks. He's on the move. A pass to Raptor. Nice and smooth. Little Lesso, light and small. A shoulder charge. He steals the ball. He dribbles left. He dribbles right. Compy tackles. Dino fight. Both players get a penalty. Red cards from the referee. The biters whine. The grazers pout as both the brawlers sit it out. The pterodactyl twins advance toward Grazer's goal. They see their chance. Pass to Aloe, coming through. A perfect shot. It's two to two. Here comes Galley, quick and sure. He weaves behind the di each dinosaur. Gallimimus kicks it fast. Iguanos grazing on the grass. The gold fans groan and stomp and roar. Iguano goofed. The biters score. As Grazer's spirits all deflate, the winning bite biters celebrate. They wave their flags and roar with glee. They end the year with victory. But wait and see. Get your tickets, one and all. 
Next season, they'll play Dino Ball. Well, I hope you enjoyed our adventure of dinosaurs playing soccer. And now we're going to keep with the sports theme and we're going to read Froggy Plays T-Ball. Dinosaurs that play soccer and frogs that play baseball. What do you all think? Let me know in the comments below what you think of animal playing sports. Okay, Froggy Plays T-Ball. Froggy steps up to bat. He wound up and swung. Whack! The ball sailed up, up, and out of the park. Home run, home run, shouted Froggy. He yelled so loud that he flopped back to his room to get dressed. Flop, flop, flop. Zap, zip, flop. Zip, zum, zap. He was just imagining it. Back in the kitchen, he ate his bowl of Cheerios and flies. Cheerios and flies? What do y'all think? Do you want to have flies with your Cheerios? Now, Froggy, said his dad, remember when you hit the ball, run the bases in the right order. First, run to first. Second, run to second. Third, run to third. Then run home. I know, said Froggy. And together they leap Froggy all the way to the baseball field singing. First run to first, second run to second, third run to third, then run home. At the baseball field, their assistant t-ball coach, Max's mother, said, Okay, team, who are we? The Giants, shouted the team. Go, Giants! Let's play ball, she yelled. Froggy, you're up first. Go, Froggy, hollered Mom. Go, Froggy, holl hollered Froglina. Froggelina. Ga, ga, Woggy, hollered Polly Woggly in. Froggy took his first swing. Swish, he missed. Then swish, swish, swish. And on his last swing, his bat flew out of his hands and smacked Max in the head. Bonk. Good thing he was wearing a helmet. Okay, Froggy, good try, said Max's mom. Next up. When Max came up to bat, he hit the ball, whack, and got on base. And so did Matthew, Travis, Frogalina, and Big Red. Whack, 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 whack. The next inning was so long that Froggy's mom took Polly home for a nap. Froggy! yelled the coach. What? Get out there and catch some flies. Okay, shouted Froggy. So he grabbed his glove and flopped on to right field. Flop, flop, flop. And shagged some high flies buzzing around. Zap, zap, zap. Yum, said Froggy. This is fun. Froggy, yelled the coach. What? Boink. A fly ball smacked him in the nose. Pick up the ball, Froggy, yelled the coach, but Froggy was holding his nose. Throw it, Froggy, throw it, screamed the Giants. But by the time he threw it, the, Dragons had, the Dodgers had scored four runs. So at the end of the inning, Froggy's dad said, Oh, Froggy, next time somebody hits the ball, please run for it and throw it fast. Okay, coach, said Froggy. When it was Froggy's next turn up to bat, he swung, zap, and the ball dribbled off the tee. And he ran for it and threw it so fast to third. Out, cried the ref at the first base. Oops, said Froggy, I threw it myself. But he still had one more chance. It was the last inning. Two outs and the bases were loaded. Froggy stepped up to the bat and swung. Swish! He swung again. Swish! Then on the third swing, whack! The ball sailed up, 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 and out of the park. The crowd went crazy. Froggy skipped around the bases singing. First run to first, second run to second, third run to third, then run home. 
and off the field he ran toward home. Froggy! yelled Frogalina. What? Not your home, silly. Home plate! And when Froggy finally got home, he hollered, I hit a homer! I hit a homer! Home bunga! squealed Polly Wagalina. That's great, Froggy, said his mom. I thought the game would never end. And she gave him a hot dog with fly relish. Munch, crunch, crunch. And that is our adventure of a frog that plays baseball. I hope you enjoyed our two animal sports themes today. Leave a like in the comment if you like them. And hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't. Let me know what stories you'd like to hear and I can read them for you. Have a good day, everybody, and keep reading. Bye now.